Hi everyone, it's Andreas back with another video for you guys. So in this video I will show you my easy and affordable Swift setup which I have in my garage. So the first thing you need is a bike, either an ergometer bike, wheel on trainer. I bought a racing bike last year and I got addicted but I couldn't bike in the cold winter weather here up in Norway so it's uh, due to the cold and the snow and icy roads and everything you know it's a bit of a hazard biking when it's snowing and uh, it's icy road and everything so my hunt began for a uh, cheap wheel on trainer I had seen some of the YouTube videos from some of the guys so I went searching on the big old internet I hunted high and I hunted low so I did find some used second hand on the marketplace fin.no days went on and on and on and the weather got colder and colder and icier you know <laughs> and I was waiting for my next bike ride you know on the in the metaverse as they call it on Swift so today came and I noticed there was some guy giving away two wheel on trainers they, they are old they're very old I with the one trainer I got on CD uh, which was meant for Windows XP or something and that's way old you know back in 2001 so yes but let that be aside but this guy was giving away his wheel on trainer so I messaged him on Finn and blah, 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 and uh, yes I could get it and the better it was it was in my neighborhood here out in uh, they're out on Bergen. So I went to pick it up and uh, yeah. So the next day I was installing it. I noticed it was old but still usable and it works flawlessly. Welcome to my pain cave. Hoorah! Now my gear is all set up and ready on my Merida with my V-Lon trainer as you can see in my videos when I'm pairing it all together and whatever so of course it's much more fun with expensive gear but I don't want to spend that kind of cash on something that I might not like next year you know so but then you would have produced more CO2 emissions and we're trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly eco to the environment and so every little thing you can do the better it is as we say here in Norway <laughs> we don't say that we say it in Norway Norwegian but whatever <laughs> so I downloaded Swift to my laptop and started spinning on my bike and it will start out start sending out signals over the Bluetooth ant technology and my computer luckily picked up the signals very fast and my first ride on Swift wasn't as good as I hoped but I was learning the whole shebang and I was trying to figure out the whole Swift experience you know there we go ah. When I was later racing, I got it all correct. I should men also mention I got a um, uh, cadence sensor on my bike as well as a heart rate sensor. 
Well, when I came come to think of it, it's not actually that cheap. Cheap of a Swift setup, even though I got my wheel on trainer for free. You need a bike, road bike, those are not cheap, you know. Luckily, my bike I got second hand off the marketplace Fin.no. So, and uh, also I got a um, speed sensor on the wheel. It was when I was biking in the tunnels on E39. You know, there's no GPS signals down underground, so. I needed that as well. <laughs> My wife didn't think I needed it. Yeah, so we can conclude from this video that it's not cheap to stay in shape, but it's fun as hell. And I also have this bad boy right here, and that was not cheap. I can tell you that right now. So, yeah. So, thank you. Have a wonderful day.